Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back again to Project Lexi. And today's video, we're gonna talk about some basic RBP gameplay. Well, our current MMR is around 1.7 to 1.8k and we're having some difficulties on reaching the 2k MMR as of now. And we're still learning. And we need to gain more game experience and definitely we'll make a lot of mistakes in the future but of course, it's part of the learning curve. So without further ado, let me show you some strategies and tips that I commonly use as an RBP Terminator main user. Take note, I'm not an expert here so please take this with a little grain of salt. So let's go, let's get started. So first things first, here are some basic information. I'm using an RBP Terminator setup. My front laner is a standard plant tank that has two energy cards, the Carrot and the Sirius, and a typical Rimp Dual Nut Crocker Beast on our mid lane. And finally, a standard Terminator that has a 38 speed on our back lane. On the other hand, our opponent has an AAP lineup, which consists of a full energy plant tank, and thanks to the additional lip bug card, which gives him an additional energy gain without any energy cost. An Aqua Nemo on the mid lane for additional energy gain, and finally, a standard full damage Aqua build on their back lane. Well, it is highly recommended that you check your enemy cards at the beginning of the battle and try to make some prediction on how things work based on the information that you gather. So alright, let's begin. So here, we got Sirius, Pumpkin, Carrot from our Plant Axie. Unfortunately, we didn't get any good cards coming from our damage dealer. So right now, we will try to defend and gain some energy at the same time. As most of your enemy plant will do the same, um, trying to steal and gain energy as well, but sometimes they will just skip the initial round, thus saving some card and energy for round 2. Therefore, stealing some energy would be a good idea in this round. As what we expected, they skip their turn saving them enough energy and cards and take note it is very important to keep track of our opponent's energy and cards as well so here initially our enemy has three energy but we destroy one therefore leaving him four energy for round two yet still we didn't get good setup cards so we better do some defensive stuff as well and try to save some energy and cards for the next round. So our enemy here is charging up. Maybe they didn't get some damage cards. Therefore, we're gonna expect a full blast of damage cards on the next round. So right now, he used 3 energy gain cards, 2 Nemo, 1 Leaf Bug, and Pumpkin for shield, leaving him a total of 8 energy for the next round. So here, a storm is coming, and we're gonna expecting him to do a massive damage against our plant Axie. So therefore, we're not gonna use any plant cards anymore. And our best option here is to use the Beast Axie. Here, it has a good setup combo, a Ronin and 2 Imp, thus activating its passive, giving us a total of 2 energy gain upon critting. Remember, our enemy has 8 energy left. Fortunately, a 4 Aqua Card combo won't kill an idle pure tank so he need to use his additional 2 aqua cards to delete our plant tank completely, giving us some space for our beast axie to do a little execution. But of course, there's still a chance for him to use one pumpkin 
as we only just witnessed that he used one pumpkin on the early game. So as what we expected, he did a full swing on our plant assuring to make a kill. As what we've mentioned earlier, he has 8 energy left and now he used 6 of it, leaving him 4 energy for the next round. Alright, this is the moment of truth. So our enemy now has 4 energy left and that would be enough to kill our beast Axie. So therefore, no action is needed for our beast Axie. We'll just sacrifice him for the sake of energy preservation. Most of the time, a minimum of 3 aqua cards will automatically delete our beast Axie in an instant. So the smartest thing to do here is to inflict some damage to our enemy and stun him until the next round. Again, our opponent is trying to save some energy here and also he might be thinking that if he will attack right now, I might use my sticky go to defend myself. So it is very important that you know how to read your enemy's next move. So alright, as what we expected, he passed. So I will be expecting a 4 combo cards coming from him. So we need to defend ourselves by using Sticky Go and a Chump for the stun debuff. Okay, both of us right now has 3 energy left. Unfortunately for him, he got stunned. So we're only gonna expect 2 hit combo coming from him, nullifying the 3 hit combo because of the stun debuff. So therefore, this is the perfect opportunity for us to do a full swing attack and thus ending the battle right now. Alright. There you go. So that was a very basic gameplay and I haven't explained the full details of what happened which includes the rationale behind the passives and the synergistic effect of some cards. But hopefully you've learned something today and if you have some suggestions please comment down below and please do subscribe to our channel and help us to grow. As always take care and thank you for watching.